Nutrient Equine Yielding Sale, Melbourne, April 14. It will start about the April 12. Jamie Lee King and Darren Park, the guys are back. Hello, Jamie. Hello, Paul. How are you? Good, and great to have you guys back and going in. Very, very organised, Darren Park. This year, I noticed last night, I was sitting there watching, and um, you put all your photos up of your draft of um, 11 yearlings. Yes, that's yes, right, your 11 yep, yearlings. 11, yep. The photos are up. I just asked them when will the videos be going up and you said they're actually going up now. You guys are right on the front foot at the minute. Yeah, they're in the process of going up. It's certainly helped um, having some extra staff this year that have um, been going along pretty good and uh, we've got you know just a small mediocre draft this year um, in comparison to the large numbers that we've normally taken so it's been a bit easier. The farms sort of uh, ran pretty smoothly and we've been able to get into yielding prep pretty early and get ahead of the game. Quality <laughs> scared the living daylights out of me. That was a dog drop something on my foot. Um, quality draft. Some very exciting fillies in the draft as well. You must be excited about that and, and offering fillies up um, in, this, in this draft. Yeah, um, we have a pretty even draft. Like, I'm happy with the way they've all looked this year. Occasionally you get, like, um, you know, one or two um, that don't do as well as the others. But this year they've uh, really kicked along evenly and, and it's a well-put-together um, draft. But we certainly have, you know, there's three uh, high-profile um, fillies there that um, we're offering up for sale um, that are pretty exciting. Yeah, um, your whole draft is always exciting. It's always got a little bit of intrigue about it too. Trotter this year, now we will say that in the catalogue he's there as a cult, but he's a gelding. Yeah, 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 we gelded him. Um, we thought it was in, we gelded him early because we thought it was uh, in his best interests. Um, you know, he was a pretty full on cult and he certainly let down a lot better as a gelding and, um, you know, muscled up and he was less stressed basically yep. from being gelded so i think sometimes it's better for him too and yeah. it's, it's one less expense too for a lot of people because not many people race stay in trotters no so. and I, i'd like to be honest i don't mind gelding a few of them um it's a bit hard to convince bruce sometimes to geld them um for sales but uh yeah i don't mind doing it to a couple of them because they they prep easier um and they're a bit more chilled and and in the zone so to speak rather than uh you know, worrying about the fillies. A couple of um, American ideals, um, ill-fated as well, and they always seem to sell well. But you've got some exciting new season size as well. Better's Wish has been so well received already this year. Throws a real stamp on them. Looking forward to seeing yours. Um, we'll catch up probably a bit closer to the sale. But um, has he got that typical Better's Wish stamp about him? He's a really nice cult. Yeah. Um, it, typically, Garden Gate Tina, like, um, I mean, she's had 200k plus earners, and uh, I think Major Major's gone you know, broke 150 now. Um, but they're typically very big, um, you know, look like they're going to take time to mature, like not going to be early going two-year-olds. But um, the Better's Wish crossover her has, like, done the opposite. Like, he's a real ready-to-run, smart, really smart type of horse. I'm pretty excited about him, actually. Um, yeah, he's a... And they have sold well in everywhere. Um, in all sales, people have been keen to keenly sought after to, to get get hold of them. There's not as many of them around. It's well publicised, but um, what there are, people are really keen to buy and uh, and get involved with. Yeah, and I th I think you know he's a good one that it's, he's really going to meet the market. Um, you know, and he's a very very nice horse. Lather up there as well. Um, they're hitting the ground this year as two year olds, so that makes it a little bit easier. Hopefully, between now and then, there's going to be quite a few two year old races. Or a couple of them might be able to step out. Be great if they can start winning as well. But can always be a little bit anxious but you said he's a nice type yeah he is a nice type um you know he's a well proportioned horse and um you know he's got a little bit of up and about about him um but you know he, he's a nice cold as well uh, a couple of always be mickeys you got a lazarus as well lazarus filly yeah i got a lazarus filly um out of rock and tammy um got an always be mickey out of the grand dam of act now um it's the first one we've offered up for quite a few years um as we've a hard family for bruce to be moving on uh well we have actually the last two out of molly's lucky star we've sold privately um you know off the mare um and this year you know we've sort of committed our whole draft to nutrien and um so it's it'll be interesting because like i said we haven't sold one um you know through a sales company for quite a while um and you know act now has since won a um you know victoria cup and done what he's done um, but it's a good family at a, and it'll be at a reasonable price that he'll be for sale. I think that's one thing about the fillies, the five fillies that Bruce has offered up, um, the, the depth of mares that he's got, like it is a unique opportunity to buy, you know, he doesn't have bad mares on the farm so I mean it's a really unique opportunity isn't it? Yeah and I think you know the three 
you know, good fillies, like um, ideal pro the ideal priority filly, seaside filly, um, and we've got, you know, the perfect sense, better's delight filly and the better's delight out of Beach Garden, you know, the really strong families that we're offering up and, um, you know, ideally it'd be nice to, you know, have a 100% clearance rate at, at our sale. Um, and you know they are there to be sold and um you know we'll tr we're going to try really hard to meet the market um particularly you know with the the lesser class horses so to speak um you know we'll try and meet the market as best we can this year we're just outside of four weeks or just under four weeks uh, from the sale people come here and inspect them all the guys are out in the paddocks today so i mean we haven't got any pride and be honest because you've put them all out and you bring them in at night time but if people want to come out by appointment, make sure they give you guys a call and say, because it's a little bit trickier for you to bring them in, but if they know you're coming, you can have them in and ready for people to look at. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we're always, um, you know, we've always got staff on hand on weekends and during the week, um, we're always available um, or make ourselves available for um, on-farm inspections and, um, you know, it's hard for people to make it, you know, possibly to our area and that, but yeah, I encourage, encourage people to come and have a look. You're only 10 minutes out of Bunnyong, and I can say that the bakeries and that in the town are sensational. Not that I stopped at one today. Mm, it's not, that good I bakery. Need, not that I need to stop at any. Um, that. But you're, look, well, you're only about 20 minutes from Ballarat itself. Um, so, Melbourne, you're only, what, be an hour away, I suppose, at the yeah. most? Yeah. yeah. Yep. We want people to come here and have a look at them here before they get to the sales because then when they get to the sales you can see a different horse. Sometimes it can be a better behaved horse, sometimes it can yeah. be a worse behaved horse, but yep. at least you can compare them um, yep. both sides of it and come here. So we want people to get here. Jamie, thank you. Won't be our last chat. Uh, we'll be catching up before him, but I really appreciate it. We want to try and get the word out there that the Melbourne sale's on now. April yep. 14 is sale day. April 12, horses will be arriving. April 11, um, horses will be arriving. There'll be a parade on the 13th. There's going to be races leading up to it as well. It's going to be a big, big week for Nutrient and a big week for everyone. And we we want people to be aware of it and get around there. So thank you very much for joining me and um, yeah, we'll catch up again soon. No worries. Thank you.